We've seen an uprising brewing within the Labour Party, with senior figures dropping out left, right, and centre. Today's video takes a closer look at a Labour MP who didn't hold back, publicly criticising Keir Starmer and his party's handling of matters during their first 100 days in office. It's refreshing to witness MPs not just resigning but openly speaking their minds. In this video, we'll dive into what was said and explore the latest developments sweeping across the country. But before we go any further, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our rapidly expanding community. Recently, Labour MP Graham Stringer took aim at the government's winter fuel payment policy and their poor communication strategies during a national news appearance. The Manchester Blackley MP slammed the disconnect between policymaking and its communication to the public, saying, there doesn't seem to be any coordination at the heart of government when it comes to this. They roll out a policy but seem clueless about how to explain it. Citing the winter fuel payment as a prime example of bad policy, poorly explained, and mocked the government's justification as utter rubbish. He added, ministers were sent out claiming market collapse if we didn't act. It's all nonsense. He then pointed out that the winter fuel payment is less than 0.2% of public expenditure. Pensioners most certainly would. According to Stringer, stronger leadership is essential, urging that only the prime minister can fix this. It's not bound to some office or bureaucrat. It needs to come from the top. This criticism comes as the government faces mounting backlash over changes to the winter fuel payment, leaving about 11 million pensioners in the cold quite literally, has new rules now restrict eligibility to those on certain means-tested benefits. One Scottish couple, Peter and Florence Fanning, has even launched a legal challenge against the UK Work and Pension Secretary, accusing the government of failing to properly assess the equality impact of these changes. Their case, supported by the Government Law Centre, could delay the policy's rollout, and money-saving expert Martin Lewis suggests this might buy pensioners another year of receiving the £200 to £300 payout in 2024. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the headlines, a deported Albanian migrant has successfully lodged a claim with the European Court of Human Rights to stay in the UK after marrying and having a child. Ardian Binage, who originally snuck into the UK in 2014 and was jailed for burglary, managed to return illegally after being deported in 2016. Now, citing his right to family life under Article 8 of the ECHR, he has been granted permission to stay despite working illegally in the UK. Former Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick has since blasted the ruling, calling it a textbook case of the ECHR enabling criminals to escape justice, and argued that the convention has been stretched beyond all recognition to become a criminal's charter. Back in domestic affairs, Labour's Rachel Reeves is feeling the pressure to reverse the Conservatives' highly controversial alcohol duty hike. A survey of pub landlords has revealed that one in five pubs believes they won't make it through the next year if the tax hike remains in place. Introduced in 2023, the 10.1% duty increase on spirits has been widely condemned, with distillers struggling to stay afloat and some even shutting down. These are testing times for Starmer and his Labour government and their decisions, be it on pensioner support or the booze tax, are leaving many wondering if stronger leadership and better communication will come soon enough. 